It's hot out air. Prince Charles struggles to keep his cool in 85F temperatures as he visits the Sandringham Flower Show with Camilla. The Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall did their best to ward off the heat wave with matching sunglasses today. Camilla, 72, in a chic mint green and a valentine shirt a waist or dress, also sensibly brought a white lace parasol with her as they toured the 138th Sandringham Flower Show in Norfolk. Arriving in a traditional horse-drawn carriage, the royal couple were certainly in high spirits as the guests of honour, despite the scorching heat, with temperatures reaching 89F. Charles and Camilla were making their annual visit to the flower show, held on the Queen's Norfolk Estate each July, which attracts 20,000-plus visitors and raises money for charity. Unsurprisingly, the weather was the subject of most conversations. It's hotter there than in the tropics. Charles exclaimed. Sarah Ling, 52, from Luton, Bedfordshire, surprised the prince by trying to cool him off with her fan, and he shot her a grateful glance. You must be so warm, said Catherine Hutchings, 54, from Lavenham in Suffolk. I'm not sure where it is hotter, here or in those tents, he replied, gesturing towards a group of marquees he had just come out of after examining some of the prize exhibits. It's warm, too warm. As she viewed a gold medal winning display by flowers from the farm, Camilla puffed her cheeks and exclaimed, It's hotter than Cuba, referring to her recent official Caribbean tour. But she was delighted after being given a pretty posy by Dulcie Bonser, 5. They are so lovely and match your dress, she said. Camilla looked resplendent in her sophisticated frock with dropped hem detailing and elegant long sleeves. She teamed the summer dress with a pearl necklace and drop earrings before completing the look with a non-trend raffia bag and matching tan heels. Looking as equally the part, Prince Charles was dapper in a double-breasted, cream suit, which he paired with a bright red, striped tie. The event at the Queen's estate was a riot of color as green-fingered exhibitors put on a vibrant display. On arrival, the royal visitors, both of whom are keen gardeners themselves, are expected to tour the royal marquees where winning vegetables, fruit, flowers and floral art is displayed. The royal couple wandered through the show tents, stopped off at a few stands, including the Sandringham Women's Institute, where Camilla took a five-pounds note out of her purse to snap up two knitted owls and a slice of ginger cake for the helicopter journey home. Charles was also keen to visit the Gurkha Welfare Trust, of which he is patron, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. The engagement marked the start of the summer holidays for the couple, although Charles will undertake a small number of engagements up in Scotland over the weekend as he visits the Castle of May and then on to Burke Hall, his highland home. Camilla is heading off on her annual bucket and spade holiday with her grandchildren, before joining her husband up north. The Sandringham Flower Show takes place in Sandringham Park with Sandringham House and Sandringham Church as a backdrop. The one-day show attracts around 20,000 visitors each year. Many of East Anglia's leading nurseries and horticultural specialists exhibit at the show. The Royal Marquis House competitions in vegetables, fruit, flowers and floral art, with the entries grown by local residents, there are also some open classes which anyone may enter. The profits from each show are donated to local charities and since 1977 the show committee has given around £760,000 to good causes.